M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Let's update the firmware on our Anytone 578. This is the new model with 500,000 contacts and receive APRS. We've got the BT01 here as well, which is working, but I think it's a bit glitchy. So we're going to update the firmware to the latest model or version, which is 2.04, which I'm getting from Bridgecom. So thanks very much to Brid Bridgecom. I've downloaded it to a file on my computer. So it's version 2.04. So let's just show you the version we've got. We'll go menu, turn the channel knob to settings, push it, go down to device info, and there's my DMR ID and call sign. We've already used this radio. Keep going, and it's version 2.03. So that's what I plan to change. Hardware says 1.0, radio data says 1.10, radio data says 1.00. Let's keep going language there's your bluetooth board version which is 1.04 which i think is okay so anyway to get it into firmware mode we have to turn it off and we have to hold down the menu and the exit button and then turn it back on and it goes into firmware mode so let's turn it off let's hold those two buttons down it's quite fiddly um we're gonna do this Hopefully that'll work. Just waiting. So just to clarify, you hold down the menu and the exit button and then you turn it off. So the radio is on, hold down menu exit, then turn it off, then you get the red flashing light. Let's go to the actual firmware, which I've got on a file here. And double click the firmware, which is this one here. And I've checked my, my version, it's the 2.04 GD version. Open up the code plug. We're going to go tools, firmware update. Now you get this little, it does have use a separate file. So click here at the bottom and it sort of opens up this new file for you. Like so. Then just click open file and we know it's that one there. Now that's the Bluetooth. We don't want to put Bluetooth in at the moment. So go desktop. 578 firmware there it is there firmware there and we want the gd one it's the spi with gd look on mine on the europe version double click click ok and then click right right to radio and then we'll watch it go through shouldn't take too long and then we've got to do the factory reset which i believe is channel and p2 once we've done that, then we're going to have a little play with the Bluetooth and APRS update. But let's do this to the end. We'll leave it live. Yeah, so it's a bit fiddly, but once you've got everything in, I mean, the problem with um, when they bring out a new radio, a new model or a newer model and they bring out a fancy gadget like the, the BT-01, there's always going to be bugs. So you're probably going to have to do this two, three times, I would say, in the next year. And then it'll all settle down. Put that there. So it looks like it's getting there. Now you can actually update the firmware on the handset using a Bluetooth app on your Android phone. But we haven't done that yet. So right, that's the firmware complete. And we should just, we'll just turn it on. Check the firmware and then we'll do the whole reboot thing. I think it'll probably show up anyway. Exit that. I've still got my boot screen which will vanish. But we have saved the code plug. So remember to save your code plug. You just go file and then save. We'll just click the little black file here. Save that. So let's just have a quick look, see if that's gone in. We'll go menu, down to settings, device, and then firmware 2.04 GD. Pretty sure that's the one. The one that looks wrong now is the Bluetooth 1.04. There's a newer one, I think it's 1.06. So let's do the factory reset. So we'll turn it off. Hold down the channel and P2. 
turn on they are initialized and I'm going to go confirm we'll let it do its thing I won't put the date in now and that's it so that's your firmware done the latest firmware and it's now the 28th of December 2022 so I'm going to click confirm there so that's gone in thanks for watching Please remember to like or subscribe if you find this interesting. Should we quickly load in our code plug while we're at it? And remember, when you load your code plug on the radio, file right to RAID. So we need to open it first. File, open, click yes, click OK. Click OK. Actually, if you think about it, we've got it here on the screen anyway, so we just go right, right to radio. Okay, click OK. Communication port, make sure our USB cable is plugged in. Go right, right click, device manager. And we're on COM12, which is showing an error. So what we'll do, we'll, look, we'll plug it and plug it back in. And we'll go right click, device manager, ports, yeah, no error there, COM12, so that should work now. So we'll just go right to radio, right to radio, click OK. I should put everything back as it was. Give it a minute. Write data complete. Taking a while. Back on. It reboots automatically. A bit slow, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, look, it hasn't got my my boot image. Can I load that on there while we're watching? So we go program i'll go tools boot image there it is there i've already selected it right to radio click ok do you like having a boot image you do have to tell it you have to go into to use it you go to optional settings display and you have to tell it to use it here it is it standby bk pick custom one so it should be using it well, that's not really the boot image, just the background image, oh, which it is using. Okay. There you go. Bye for now, 7-3.